complaints about banks has hit a record high, according to a new report. That's Sue Jensen from Central London. Uh, Sue, many, many people now clearly unhappy with the financial sector, and they're talking about it and shouting about it. Yeah, they certainly are. They're becoming more and more grumpy, perhaps, that banks aren't always taking on our complaints effectively and efficiently. 7,000 people a day call the Financial Ombudsman Service, and when they take on a case, about half of those are resolved in the customer's favour. Partly, of course, we know the service is there now and it's free. And the other reason perhaps we complain more, well, is because times are very tough. Bank customers are becoming more disgruntled and they're not afraid to say so. That's according to the Financial Ombudsman Service, who've dealt with more than half a million new complaints in the past year. Almost two-thirds of the complaints were from customers of the big four banks, Royal Bank of Scotland, Lloyds, HSBC and Barclays, with 74% of complaints about the mis-selling of payment protection insurance, PPI. But difficulty cancelling payments on current accounts and problems with mortgages were also cause for concern. Going through a call centre, they don't really handle my complaints properly and I'm looking at moving. When we needed them in terms of getting a loan and needing some financial support, they weren't there for us. They were always bad as each other. The British Bankers Association says banks will continue to work with the Ombudsman to try to improve the system and that they're overhauling their incentive structures for staff, rewarding them for high levels of customer service and not sales volumes. This is the latest in a long line of criticism of the banks who will continue to battle a bad reputation for a while to come. I'm sure they will. Well, joining us now is Laura Willoughby from Live Your Money. Good morning to you, Laura. Morning. Can't live with them, can't live without them. We really don't like it, though, do we? What should we do? Well, um, in honest truth, they, they treat us really badly. We should stop putting up with it and we should move our money. People are telling us about all sorts of complaints coming through. And it's like the banks are goading us to go to the Ombudsman now because they can't be bothered to deal properly with the complaint. Where do they move our money? Under the mattress? Well, you can move it to building societies, which have got a far better record. If you look at the figures there, far less complaints and a far better customer service. And they're mutuals, so you get a say in how that building society is run. And at the end of the day, big five banks, they haven't really done us very well. They've got government money to lend to us. They're still not lending. How much more are we going to put up with? I mean, do you get the same, can you get the same products, the same rates and so on, if you go to a smaller a building society, for example? Well, every building society offers something different. Not all of them offer current accounts. But those that do and those that offer ISAs are offering better rates at the moment because actually they haven't got government cash going into them. Um, they want your custom and, and they're giving really good offers. It's at the difficult moment. though, isn't it? Because if you've got your mortgage with someone and then part of getting a good deal is if you've got to have your current account there. You know, they do these deals, don't they, where they sort of tie you into things. It's very difficult then to move away from that, isn't it? You end up sort of putting up with quite a lot. But you don't have to keep everything with one institution. And your money even your overdraft is worth a lot of money to the banks and you should move it because at the minute they are they're taking us all for granted and you know in Britain you're more likely to end a relationship than you are to move your bank oh which way. is ridiculous people that say is. and and they rely on that they rely on that and that's why they they don't deal well with complaints and they will come back all the time and say well just go to the ombudsman if you're not happy so what do you look for when you're looking for someone better than the prag you've got at the moment well, uh, you, the, the big five are the ones that got us into trouble. They're the ones that have um, uh, rate rigged through LIBOR. They're the ones that have got all the biggest complaints and customer service. They've got government money um, backing them so up. So anyone's better than them? Anyone's better than them. HSBC's been done for money laundering. I mean, I, f I find that quite difficult that they've been involved with such um, an international crime and yet people still have their money with them. And, you know, we're showing that people are moving away in greater numbers. And our figures show that 2.3 million people moved last year. That's twice the population of Birmingham starting to move their money. The more people that do it, the more the banks are going to listen. Well, thanks very much. Exciting talk. Thank you. <laughs>